Hey everybody, it's BladeStalker1570 here with the next part of Let's Play End of War Plus Updates. Uh, so, after failing to get into the screen, in the last episode you saw us get the flippers and four power gems. Awesome. So now we're going to be in, go, uh, traveling deep underwater for treasures unknown. Or known to me, obviously. So yeah, flippers, in case you don't know what they do and why I got them, they basically make it so you can swim for a lot longer and not lose as much energy. Don't ask me how, but eh, I guess it just kind of helps. Um, so, enjoying the relaxing music, and what is that? That is the pearl. It's so shiny. You can use this pearl to uh, get something special. Here is the gem. Now what the pearl is used for is, uh, if you remember the first guy in the icy mountains. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. go, go. Yes! Whew. Okay, that was close. Oh, where was I? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so basically the first guy in the icy mountain zone, if you give him that gem, he will give you a tracker, which will be able to find any and all gems around you. It'll be like this giant pointer laser thing that will show you in which direction the gems are. I did, I never used it, so I'm not going to use it, but I'll collect it for you later on, so you guys aren't stuck wondering what it does. It is a very useful thing if you guys don't know where the gems are. So, actually, uh, maybe I'll go collect it right now. Just gotta grab something down here. The stamina berry. I don't know why they're berries, and I don't know how this little dwarf thing eats them. I mean, the berry is like three times the size of him. I'll, I'll show you when I get to the next berry, though. You've probably already noticed. And over here are the gloves. They got the grip gloves. You can now grip on to edges above you while holding up. So it makes climbing a heck of a lot faster if you do it this way, but yeah, I remember what I was doing. So we're just going to go up and through this cavern again and hopefully get up to where I need to go. Though unfortunately it seems like I'm a little lost, but I'll get there eventually, no worries. <sighs> so what games have you guys been playing lately? I've been playing a lot of Black Ops, and I mean a lot. Oh, and um, sorry for uploading that first half of the video of the zombies and not uploading the second half. I just sort of got getting to that eventually. We didn't get to a very high round. I think we only got to like round 16 or 17. I might even be exaggerating it a little, but let's go down here and get our little thing. Boom. It is the gem detector. Uh, how do you use it again? Hold V to detect gems in the same region. If there's no gems, there is no beam of light. And for some reason, they never point here, which is weird. So you think, since this is where all the, the gems are, it point over here. So you can hold down to teleport, and here I am, under the water again. Hopefully not di almost dying. So, now we're over here, we're gonna go this way. This game is actually a surprisingly big game for only being made in, what, I think it was a week? Um, it's a really fun game. I enjoyed it, or enjoy it. Or, if I didn't, I wouldn't be making this last play, but... It's a super fun game, and I'm also thinking about making a bigger Let's Play video. Once I get a new mic and figure out how to use Audacity with my new uh, capture card, which I've been wanting for a long time, uh, I'll start making some professional grade videos maybe. You know, I was, I'm thinking about right now doing a let's play on Pikmin. You guys already saw the little um, test of it. And you know what? I think I'll go for it once I figure out how to commentate. Uh, Pikmin has always been a favorite game of mine, you know. 
I've had it since I was like way way little and I forget why I came up here oh yeah there's lots of power berries over here I think there's two or three in this little area up here but there's nothing super important to, important in this area except for down here now down here is the most <sighs> annoying part of the game for me see you have to do this little maze now I already know how it's solved but there's lots and lots of power berries here like I think there's five or six in this cave so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab grab the gem first and the parachute see you grab this little gem and how does this world please you fallen one sorry I'm trying to increase my speech but I believe if you hold X yeah if you hold X or jump button you will pull a little uh, handkerchief parachute thing and it will slowly descend your your fall or yeah it will slow make you slowly descend so I'm um, actually I don't think I'll need the power berries you actually don't need to max out the power bar but I find it does help sometimes so now after getting through the very easy maze, if you know how it's done, if you don't, that maze takes absolutely forever. I mean, what, I think it took me like 20 minutes the first time. <laughs> Ugh, it was just a nightmare for me. Okay, so obviously you need the parachute right here to get to the other side. It's not a chicken cross the road joke, don't worry. And up here, you can grab another endurance berry. And you can use the parachute once again to work your way over here. After getting up over here, he'll say, "Oh my God, those gloves are his." If you came here without the gloves, he'll tell you about the he'll tell you about the great climber and all about him and his awesome gloves. But the parachute can be used to get to many great places, and I use it a lot. So he says, "I can sense your thirst for power," and over here is the power of lightning. Um, what do you use? Hold Z to destroy things. So basically, you destroy stuff. Hooray for vandalism! So if you go over here, you can get a couple secrets by using this. Mostly just berries. There's no, there's no real secrets in this game. But there are three different endings. I'm not going to tell you which ones I'm going for right now. I'm going for the most... Well, I'm just following the storyline as a regular gamer would see it as yeah th that is just really a pain in the butt right there you can never get that berry or if you can I don't know how because I've never gotten it yet but I'm sure in some way it is possible to grab that berry so there's two or three berries in here two of them you can you can only get by going up to the top And uh, this is where the DIT starts getting a little creepy. And you'll see, you'll see he starts slowly getting creepier. If you hold V, you'll see there is um, a little radar glowy power thing. It just tells you where the next gem is, like I've already explained. But I don't use it very much. So up here, why are you looking for the gems? There are other ways back up. Do you really know why you're doing this? Basically, that's just a little guy, the gamer, the person who made this game, put in the game to kind of question the, the deity, don't you think? Don't you find it odd that a random deity, just a random god, will just send you back up with no price at all? Just to grab a couple gems? Well, enough with the ominous uh, talking here. Let's climb some trees! So yeah, this game can be pretty hard at times. If you if you get lost, uh, it's pretty hard to find your way back, unless you already know how to get back, or you're very good at following the dead flowers. Personally, I found that was a really ingenious way of uh, telling the player, "Hey, go back this way. You're lost." Oh no 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 no. Okay. You are very strange. 
Oh, and one more thing I forgot to say. Since this guy is um, insulting us, kill him. And you can grab their soul, and it's a bit like a power battery. For some reason, it'll increase your endurance. Like you're just sucking the soul's energy or something. So up here is yet another berry. Uh, and a gem. I believe this is the last gem. Uh, okay, uh, I need two more. And there's two or three more areas that we haven't gone to yet. So, on our way to the next area. Which means we'll have to go all the way back. Uh, you know what? Why don't I just skip to that? That'll make things a lot easier. Okay, I was about to go to the last area when I realized I forgot one of the emeralds. So I'm going to have to go all the way back up and grab it. <sighs> I can be stupid sometimes. So I'll just grab it here in a sec. Time to commit suicide with a parachute! Oh no, yes. I am nearly restored, Father One. And he says nothing more than that. Basically, it's indicating that you only need 10 uh, gems, but you saw how there's two gems here, right? So that means there could be a possibility of maybe 11 gems? Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Hooray. So I think I'll actually skip ahead to the place now okay here we are back at the deity sanctuary as I will call it from now on you can see the light is almost filled so that means we must be doing a pretty good job right we'll see so now that we've got nine gems out of the supposed ten let's go see where the last one is so Unfortunately, let's go down here again. No, wait, no, 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 wrong area. Sorry, you don't have to go back down there. I was just being an idiot for a second. You have to go up the mountain slightly where we got the third gem. And if you just keep going on this way, you should go to the next area. As you'll see in five, four, three, two, one. And here we are! There's nothing here but a giant wall. Well, maybe we'll see where that goes. So now we're stuck looking for a gem, eh? Doesn't that just suck? Good thing we had the finder, but there's no gems around. So we're looking for the last gem or two. And I have forgotten where they are. Ancient pillars to the... Maybe there was a gem in that pillar. I never actually re remembered. Eh, let's go figure it out. If it's not there, it's gotta be somewhere else. No, oh, right. He keeps saying he's a wuss and he's not strong enough for some reason. Even though you never actually see him try. I'm sure he could probably do it. And I guess this will end our film. Yeah, let's keep going for a little bit. Okay, so I did miss this one. I'll grab it. Uh, stop the video and we'll let the... We'll see what happens when we get all the crystals for the deity. So there was one up here. And I told you guys there's nothing up here. I'm sorry. I just forgot. Uh, no, we're not going to be able to go that way. So as you can see, that parachute makes for really good climbing. Um, always grab the parachute wherever, whenever you play this game. It just makes going over to things a lot easier. Okay, it's over there. And bam! Here we are. I have enough power, Fallen One. Return to my temple. I have a gift for you. So that will conclude it for this video. Uh, see you guys on the next and maybe final episode of Let's Play Endivar.